Teresa Hood joins us from Rapids Regional Medical Center to tell us more about the Tackle Stroke Program. Teresa, thank you for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Of so, course. Tackle Stroke. So Rapids started Tackle Stroke in 2015, and we've been doing that every year minus a COVID year or two. Um, and we're a primary certified stroke center, so we want everyone to know the signs and symptoms of a stroke and what to do if you have a stroke or if you think you're having a stroke. So we go by the acronym Be Fast. So really simple, B is for balance. Are you off balance? Are you dizzy? Do you have a headache? Eyes, do you have blurred vision? Do you have vision changes? What's going on there? F is for face. Smile, ask a person to smile. If one side of their face is drooping, that could be a sign of a stroke. Um, arms, have them hold their arms up. If one is drifting, again, that's a sign of a stroke. And speech, are they having trouble finding the correct words? Are they slurring their speech like I'm doing right now? <laughs> um, and then T for time. Time is of the essence. Call 911 immediately so we can get them to a stroke center and get them that medication that can help save their life and save brain matter, brain tissue. So uh, for the signs of a stroke, yes. do you wait and call if you have all these signs? No, if you have any of them, okay. call immediately. Always err on the side of caution. Right. If you're not having a stroke, that's okay. We'll take care of you. Right. But if you are having a stroke, time is of the essence. Absolutely. Yes. And, you know, a big part of this is the education part yes. of informing the community about all this right. and making sure they're aware. And this is one of the programs y'all yes. use to do that. So we want everyone to know what BFAST means and to recognize that from children to adults. And these fans are awesome. We give them out at the Jamborees. And it is, what, 103 degrees? So you will definitely need a fan Friday night at the Jamboree. And it gives you information about the signs and symptoms as well as risk factors. And I've actually had, I've been doing this a long time, I've actually had people come up to me and say, that fan was in my car and my daddy had a stroke and I knew what was going on. Wow. So to me, that, that just affirms the reason that we do this. We want everyone to know the signs and symptoms of a stroke and what to do. Call 911. And how common is it to have a stroke? Well, stroke is the leading, uh, fifth leading cause of death in the U.S. as well as Louisiana. Oh, wow. So it is pretty common, um, but the faster you can get treatment, the better for you. And then we want everyone to know the risk factors as well. So what puts you at risk for having a stroke? Uh, something called atrial fibrillation, a condition of your heart, diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, of course, inactivity, um, obesity, and smoking. All those things put you at a higher risk of having a stroke. So you need to know that as well. Knowledge is power. I firmly believe in knowledge. So if you know those things, you can talk to your doctor about, hey, you know, I, I have these things. What, how am I at risk for having a stroke? What can I do to decrease my risk for having a stroke? Absolutely, yes. yes. And I'm sure there are different, you know, lifestyle changes yes. and things people can Absolutely. do as well to reduce that chance. Yes, yes. There's treatment for atrial fibrillation, uh, for treatment for diabetes, high cholesterol. Um, get up and move. Physical inactivity is a risk factor for pretty much everything, right? Movement is life. Move, even if it's just walking. Start small, you can grow. You don't have to go out and run marathons. Just take a walk around the block when it's not 103 degrees. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yes, important to uh, yes. worry about that weather. Yeah, that's a whole nother talk. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, I know that y'all will be out of the jamborees, yes. passing out these great fans. Yes. I know they will definitely be needed as well, too. But if people want to find out more information, yes. uh, what's the best way for them to do that? So there's a little QR code on this fan, and they can scan that QR code. It'll take you to our website, and you can learn all you want to know about stroke. Fantastic. Well, before we go, remind us about the Be Fast. Yes. Again. Yes, Be Fast. So balance, eyes, facial drooping, arm drift, speech, and most importantly, time. Call 911 immediately. So y'all will see us Friday night, Pineville High School, at uh, Tioga High School, and Buckeye, handing out fans. Fantastic. Well, Teresa, thank you so much for coming on the show, telling thank us all about me. it. We appreciate it so much. Thank you, Natalie. Of course. And we'll be right back. More Good Day Live right after this break.